In this video, I'll be explaining about Infinite U, which is an diffusion transformer based image generation model. But the key thing over here is that how can you create infinite photographs of you with diffusion transformers like Flux? That is a key thing over here. Infinite U enables to create infinite versions of yourself, okay, guided by text descriptions while maintaining your identity across these generations. Okay, so for example, you have this photo of Taylor Swift over here, and if you can you can see over here the various photos which have been generated, where the identity face identity is maintained very well. That is the key concept over here. So how are they doing this, and what are problems with existing diffusion transformers for generating um, faces? So with respect to existing diffusion transformers, you have insufficient identity similarity in the generated image. You have poor text image alignment and low generation quality and aesthetics. Okay, for example, they have examples over here where they have compared with existing state of art. For example, this is the original image of a person, the ID image, okay, identity image, which, and this is the text caption, old man with glasses reading a book at home. So the Flux uh, one dev IP adapter that creates this image, okay, whereas another uh, model, uh, you know, uh, it creates this particular image, and this is the infinite U version. So if you look at these images, these are not really older versions of this person, right? Whereas this is, you know, reflecting an older version. Okay. Some more examples are present over here. Uh, so this is a photo of a lady smiling old woman gardening in her backyard on a sunny day. So this is the text caption for which based on this identity image, images needs to be generated. If you look at the other models, okay, like Flux One Dev or this PU LID Flux, you know, these are the photos which has been generated. And this is from Infinite U, which looks quite good and quite realistic okay so now going back so how have they done this so they have created something called as an infuse net which is a component which injects identity features into the diffusion image uh, transformer base model via residual connections enhancing identity similarity while maintaining general capabilities now let us look into the paper to understand a little bit more about this part so if i go to the paper this is the architecture or main framework of infinite U. Okay, so there is this infuse net, which is also a diffusion image transformer, okay, which has n blocks, right? And here is your base diffusion image transformer um, model, which is frozen, okay? There is residual connections from this infuse net block to your base image uh, diffusion transformer. From an identity image, there is a phase identity encoder and there is a projection network which projects the features onto this infuse net. An optional control image also can be given as input to the infuse net. And based on this, the original um, base diffusion image transformer takes noise as input. And uh, the text encoder of the original image uh, diffusion image transformer takes the prompt. And based on that, you know, based on all um, this input and based on this infuse net you know, residual connections from InfuseNet to diffusion image transfer base uh, diffusion image transformer and image is generated. So here the trainable modules are the projection network and the InfuseNet diffusion image transformer. If you see over here, the idea is for every diffusion image uh, block in InfuseNet, there are I diffusion image blocks in the base model. Okay, that's the idea over here, right? So after every, uh, you know, this thing, you have a new block over here. Every I blocks in your base image transformer, you have a block over here in InfuseNet, right? So they have explained this particular, uh, you know, what is this diffusion base model? Let's go to that to understand a little bit more about, you know, uh, what is the architecture over here, right? So the network architecture is there is a diffusion image base model, which is your flux, right? Then they uh, it ingests a noise map sample from a standard Gaussian distribution along with features from both the identity image and text prompt inputs to generate an image that adheres to the text description while preserving the human facial identity through multiple denoising steps. Okay, the text prompt is embedded by a frozen text encoder and then fed into the base model. What they introduce is InfuseNet, which is an important branch that injects identity and control signals. It also shares a similar structure with the base diffusion image transformer, but contains fewer transformer blocks. So we denote M as the number of DIT blocks in the base model and N as the number of DIT blocks in the infuse net. So M is equal to N into I where I is a multiplication factor. Okay. So if you have basically say, uh, you know, where N is equal to uh, something like four and this is equal to two, I is equal to two, then you will have eight uh, DIT blocks in your base model. Okay. Whereas in your, uh, you know, uh, in the base model, 
uh, you have m as a number of dat blocks and n is 4 so it is like uh, scale scale it by i right so if n is, uh, if i is equal to 2 it is scaled by half in the infuse net uh, whereas your uh, base transformer model is say 2x right that's the idea over here so you can give an optional control image as well okay if no control is needed a pure black image is used right the identity image is encoded by a frozen faced identity encoder into identity embeddings which are fed into a projection network so that is the idea over here okay so this is the architecture now how did they achieve the training so they have explained the training over here right in the stage one model training they do single person single sample data so basically they give a person's image as input and they uh, give a single sample of the person and ask the model to generate it so that is the first step so we collect and filter real single person single sample data from several human portrait data set this data though not highly aesthetic or high quality can be used for stage one pre-training of this infinite u model following standard training practices okay so using real single person single sample data we employ a single authentic portrait image as both the source identity image and generation target image to learn reconstruction during training so that is the first stage of training okay then after first stage of training they do an inference okay uh, by introducing other aesthetic modules like loras enhancement loras face swap modules okay other pre process processing to create synthetic single person multiple sample data okay so that is the stage uh, that is stage 1 inference so now they have a large data set of synthetic single person multiple samples data which is again given as input for you know model supervised step stage 2 model supervised fine tuning which results in your final model okay that is what they have explained over here so after stage 1 pre training of infio model uh, the infinity model we conduct stage 1 model inference to evaluate image generation performance without any plugins then they introduce uh, those plugins and because of this uh, they can create single person multiple sample data okay uh, uh, so they create that then this synthetic single person multiple sample data is subsequently fed uh, uh, into the model to create your final model that is the final model which has been create so this is the idea over here right of how they have created this infinite u framework is a very interesting framework and uh, based on what uh, they claim over here uh, this model maintains the identity across all the photos which have been generated based on the identity image and the text captions when compared to current state of the art image uh, generation models okay so they have a hugging face demo which actually i tried out and i got some good results but unfortunately, I cannot run it again because I have run out of GPU. Their code is available on GitHub. So I tried installing this code on a 40 GB uh, A80 GPU uh, on A100 GPU on Google Collab. But then I ran out of memory when trying to do the inference. It would be nice if when people create these GitHub repositories, they also put the system requirements. So we kind of get an idea of, you know, what is the minimum system requirements required to run a model like this? Surprisingly, I don't find this anywhere in this GitHub repository in terms of, you know, what is the hardware requirements to, uh, you know, run this particular library. In this readme, it's not present in the requirements.txt. They talk about the packages for installation, but nowhere, uh, you know, what is the input or what is the, uh, you know, amount of GPU VRAM required to run this model. That system requirement is missing over here. Uh, it is kind of missing over here on, you know, uh, your uh, hugging face model page also, right? I thought it might be present over here but it's not present over here as well uh, if, if that information is present it really helps us you know to identify what is the kind of gpu instance which is required to run this particular model i couldn't run it on a 40 gb gpu so probably it requires an 80 gb gpu so if you have access to an 80 gb gpu you can try out this repository the samples which they've shared over here are really nice but then you have to try it on your image to see if it really works the way they have claimed it over here i tried with one sample image the results were quite close to what I had expected uh, based on the paper okay uh, but I couldn't test it further so this is about infinite u which is a image generation model with which you can create infinite photographs of yourself while maintaining the id identity of the person right so you can uh, so this model maintains identity across the photos which have been generated using diffusion image transformers Hope this video is useful to you. I'll be putting all the um, relevant links in the description of the video. Do check out. See you in another video.